friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shailene and today I'm going to be doing my December TBR. It's the last TBR of the year. I cannot believe that 2019 is nearly gone already. Like it's just, it's, it's crazy. So today I have quite a few books that I want to read this month and honestly I don't know if it's going to be possible that I'm going to be getting to all these books. I do have some that's high priority. But I just don't know about the rest because December is going to be a hectic month. Like, I have so, so many videos that I plan to film, edit, and just put out for you guys for, you know, the end of the year videos. All my, you know, favorites, my worst books, my DNFs, my most surprising and most disappointing. Like, there's so many videos that I have to film and I have to edit. I don't know if I'm going to be having time to read, really. And then, you know, Christmas is just crazy enough as it is. So, yeah, enough blabbering and let's just jump right on into the video. I want to start out with what I'm currently reading. <laughs> um, I had hoped to get to these by the end of November, but that totally did not happen. Uh, lately, I've been having a problem with... Uh, Finding the energy to read because I've just been totally wiped out by my illness. So yeah. So I guess I'll start off with the ebook that I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading The Luminous Dead by Kaylin Starling. Basically, this is about a book about a woman who is a caver. It's kind of set in this futuristic kind of world. It's basically on a different world, not even on Earth. And so she's exploring this cave system um, for this here uh, company when really it's just one person. We find that out like really soon in the book. Um, and this person has kind of ulterior motives and uh, Geyer, the woman who's exploring the cave, learns about all of these things that uh, basically the person who recorded her uh, didn't mention. And so it becomes a pretty dangerous mission for Geyer and she lies her way to get into this mission because she needed money, she planned on going off and trying to find her mother who abandoned her some years ago. I am 54% in this book, so I'm halfway. It's been kind of a slow read, but also I've been struggling to read ebooks lately because I've been getting more migraines. <laughs> Isn't that just fun? Even though it's slow, I'm still really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the little tidbits and, um, you know, some twists and turns and surprises, and it's so far, it's been pretty good. It's just been very slow. So, where I guess we're just going to wait until the end of the book to see how I truly feel about that. But I am also currently reading Archaeology from Space by Sarah Parkak. I've been wanting to get to this one for a while, and I finally started to pick it up like last week, but I've just been so slow. I'm not like, I'm like 20 pages. Yeah, I'm like 20 pages into this so far. I just actually have to pick it up and read it. Um, so yeah, so far it's been good. I've been liking what I'm reading. Yeah, I'm really not complaining about this. I've been wanting to read this for so long. So yeah, I'm enjoying this one. So we're going to actually move on to the books that I have to read. I finally, finally received uh, some library books that I requested from the library that are... YA books and the more recent releases I've been wanting to read these so we're just gonna start off the stack. So the first one is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. Oh you really can't see it in this light. There we go. So I have been wanting to read this. A lot of people kind of iffy on this one so yeah I mean but that cover. This cover is gorgeous and I'm happy to have this in my hands. I'm surprised at how large the print is in this book. Like, it's huge. I don't know if they sent me a large print copy because of my disability or whatever, but yeah, this is just print and this is huge. Anyways, um, all I really know about this book is that these girls go to the school. They're on this island. Some sort of bio warfare virus thingy is happening on this island and the creatures that live on this island has basically become monsters. Um, I know there's also disability rep in this book. There's also a lot of LGBTQ, um, you know, feminist, lesbian, like it's horror, sci-fi, like it's kind of a mix of all that. I'm definitely in like a sci-fi mood right now with a bit of like horror island kind of vibes. So 
Hopefully I'll end up enjoying this one. The reviews have been a bit discouraging, but I'm still excited to definitely pick this up. And then the next book that I requested, also one that I'm super excited to read, it's going to be turned into a movie, which is so cool. And this has been described as uh, The Hunger Games meets uh, The Handmaid's Tale. So this is The Greatest Year by Kim Liggett. And honestly, I don't know how to describe this book other than that. Um, basically, girls are told they have the power to lure grown men from their beds to drive women mad with jealousy. Uh, they believe their very skin emits a powerful aphrodisiac and the potent essence of youth of a girl on the edge of womanhood. So basically when they are 16 they are sent to the woods to release their magic into the wild so they can return purified and ready for marriage. Not all of them will make it home alive. Basically women are pit against each other and it's kind of like a fight to the death kind of thing where they have to get out of the woods. I've seen so many great reviews of this so I'm very excited to pick this one up. Um, I love The Hunger Games and I like The Handmaid's Tale so hopefully this will be good. <laughs> also I just love the cover and the inside pages are really pretty. I don't know if you can see that in this lighting but super pretty inside pages. Okay, and the next book that I want to read was on my TBR in November, which I didn't get to. And I'm so sad that I didn't get to it, but uh, Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. Young. Oh my god. My brain can't deal today, guys. But I've been wanting to read this for ages, and I actually got uh, The Girl to See Gave Back for like almost half price uh, for Black Friday, and I'm so happy when that arrives. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I just know that this is the first book in the series. Uh, there's like a blood feud happening, Viking. I'm excited for this. We are moving into, uh, <laughs> me reading books that I've already read this year that I really, really loved and I want to reread. <laughs> uh, so there's two, okay, three, three books I read this year that I love. I adore and I have been dying to reread them again. I've been in the mood to reread them so hell yeah I'm gonna reread them. So the first one we have here is The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh. This is one of my favorite books of the year. Probably one of my favorite books of all time. <laughs> Basically this is about three sisters, their mother, and a man called King. They live on this here island it's in this kind of post-apocalyptic world. Basically, the environment's going to crap. Everything's going to crap. And um, these women are on this island for their own protection, or so they're told. They live in this tier world where men, they believe, women are raised to believe that men are very dangerous, um, that they're to avoid them at all costs. Um, but King, something happens to King. Something happens to their mother. Three men end up showing up on the island and these three girls have to kind of navigate that, deal with that, and yeah, it's such a good book. Oh my god. The What I love about this book most is the atmosphere of it. It's so good. I recommend that if you have not read this yet, put this on your list to read next year. If you loved like books like The Handmaid's Tale or maybe if you read The Grace Year and you love that, you'll probably end up liking this. Yeah, because it's probably going to be a lot of similar vibes. Especially to The Grace Year. I, that's why I'm so excited for The Grace Year. Okay, and the next book I'm going to reread, which, oh my god, I'm so excited to reread this book. Ever since I stopped, like, ever since I finished reading this book back in June, I wanted to reread it so, so bad. Like, there's a burning burning pain inside of me that wants to read this book. <laughs> it's a weird feeling to describe, but oh my god. It's an incredible book. I loved it. It ended up being one of my favorite thrillers, favorite books, favorite books of all time. Like, it is so good. And uh, I'm mad that it didn't get into, like, the semifinals of, like, the Goodreads Awards this year. Like, I am so mad at you people. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, Recursion by Blake Crouch. Oh man, that is shiny. Also, 
I would say there's a massive trigger warning for suicide in this book because there's like mass suicides. It's a crazy thrilling ride but it's amazing. Okay and one of the last physical books that I want to read this month is <laughs> a reread. This will be my third reread of this. This is the Skin and Earth graphic novel by Lights. It's a Canadian pop star ALT phenomenon. Oh my god. So I previously have never really read graphic novels and I love them. Like they are so fun to read. So if you have any recommendations for graphic novels, especially like graphic novels with like murder mysteries in them, let me know. I'm not a big fan of like Magna or Shoujo. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I just butchered that. But yeah, just graphic novels like kind of like this, I'm definitely into. So if you have any recommendations for me, please leave them down below. But anyways, I reread this this year again after I got the physical copy of this for my birthday and well I love it. I'm showing you a lot of boob. Oops. <laughs> um and yeah it it is so good. Oh my god is it ever so good. And I have been dying to reread it since I read it. Ebooks. I think I have maybe two ebooks that I want to read by the end of the year. Yeah technically it's three but they're two of them are very very short. So the first one that I want to read by the end of the year is Halifax Explosion, uh, Canada's Worst Disaster, December 6, 1917 by Ken Cuthbertson. So I've mentioned it many times on my channel, but I live in Nova Scotia. The Halifax Explosion took place in my home province. It was current, like when the Halifax Explosion took place, it was the most powerful man-made explosion that took place prior to the atomic bomb so it was one of canada's worst natural uh worst man-made disasters i believe it still is if i'm not mistaken um so yeah this is definitely one that i want to read considering it is canadian history local history for me and i really want to read it so that's definitely really high on my list. And there are two other books that I want to read and I want to like finish this series this year hopefully if I can. Sound of Siren series is what I'm calling it. I don't really know if that's the name of or no it's the Tales of Sky League. Basically <laughs> this can you tell that I didn't even prepare to film this video? <laughs> I am reading The Light of Lorelei by Jen Minkum, which is the second book in this year's series. I, uh, but I ended up really loving this series. I really love the folklore of this series and it's really good. And so I also want to read the third one, Fire of Fars, Firesland. I don't know. There's very weird names in this because it's based off of like, uh, I think like Norwegian folk tales and stuff too. So like these books are like 200 pages long. Not even that? No. See, this is 177 pages and then, it, yeah. They're super short is what I'm saying, basically. And I just, I want to finish the series and I want to start other series. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, let me know down below if you have read any of these books. Maybe what your favorite books of the year were. Um, if you plan on rereading any of your favorites from this year that you read. But yeah, you can go ahead and give this a thumbs up. You can subscribe. I'll leave... The links to my Instagram, my Goodreads, and my Twitter in the description below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.